You're probably spending lots of time getting the maximal gradients in your patients with aortic stenosis. Let me show you how you can save time. This is a patient with aortic stenosis, no question. Now, usually you would perform a five chamber view and you would place the continuous wave Doppler line right through the middle of the valve. This is what I'm doing right here. However, look at the spectrum. It's very poor. This is definitely not the best result you can get. What can you do? And this is my suggestion. Well, use color Doppler. With color Doppler, you see that the jet is actually very eccentric. It goes pretty much medial here. This is the jet you're going to be looking for. Now, if you place the continuous wave Doppler line right here, you see we're now more medial. You can see that indeed we get a much better spectrum. But let me show you something else. This is now an oblique view. We see the jet is somewhere here. If we place the continuous wave Doppler through this projection, we get a spectrum which looks like this. The velocity is obviously not high and most important, we see a positive deflection. If you have a spectrum which looks like this, well, then you definitely are perpendicular to the direction of the jet and this is not the highest gradient you can get.